May 28, 1967, was a day of three pivotal speeches. In Cairo, Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser held an international press conference. In Tel Aviv, Israeli Prime Minister Eshko spoke to the people of Israel. And in New York, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, addressed world Jewry. Each of these messages attracted extreme attention. After all, it was only eight days before the Middle East would be plunged into war. Before hundreds of the world's press, Nasser unabashedly broadcast Egypt's intentions. The existence of Israel is in itself an aggression. We will not accept any coexistence with Israel. The war with Israel is in effect since 1948. In plain words, the Arab armies led by Egypt intended to wipe Israel off the map. This was not an empty threat. Egypt, Syria, and Jordan were mobilizing vast armies on Israel's border and broadcasting the same intentions. On the same day, Prime Minister Eshko delivered a message over the waves of Israel's national radio station Kol Yisrael. While Nasser had spent weeks rallying the Middle East to a combined military onslaught against an isolated Israel, Eshkol had maintained an ominous silence since the start of the crisis. He now decided to reassure the jittery public that the IDF was adequately prepared to defend itself and that Israel was navigating a diplomatic resolution through international channels. Neither was fully true. The military intelligence and civilian leaderships all predicted impending disaster. The Israeli public was already bracing itself for the most horrifying possibilities. Eshkol stumbled nervously, and Israel trembled. Shimon Peres later described the effect of Eshkol's fumbled address. Eshkol's radio speech was simply traumatic. In retrospect, one could probably say that the public overreacted. But at the time, when you didn't know what is going to happen, and the whole world is applauding Nasser, at a time when we lost our self-confidence, and the worst doubts were voiced, the impression it created was of doubt and fear. An Israeli colonel wrote, with his stuttering, he conveyed more insecurity and confusion. I heard that soldiers at the front burst out crying, and already alarmed Israel was thrown into panic. That same day, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, head of the Chabad Lubavitch movement, and a revered spiritual leader of world Jewry, delivered a public address that was broadcast around the globe, including a simultaneous translation from Yiddish to Hebrew on Israel's Kol Yisrael radio station that Eshkol had used only hours earlier. It was Lag B'Omer, a day of great rejoicing and mystical significance in the Jewish calendar. This year, though, Jewish hearts worldwide winced in worry over the existential threat that hung over the Jews of Israel. They had reason to fear, for it was now the Sunday before the outbreak of war. The Rebbe had called for a grand Lag Omer Jewish Children's Parade to publicly express Jewish pride and to encourage Torah observance. 20,000 Jewish school children from across America heeded the call, gathering with their parents and educators in the giant leaf-lined boulevard facing the Rebbe's headquarters in Brooklyn, New York. The Rebbe personally addressed the rally, but his forceful prediction took the world by surprise.
Pela fragrância de nós, que Deus fez o marisco, o nosso 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 marisco, o Als ik me in de lijn zie zwaar, dan zit ze dood in zich. Wenn de zaak is schoon in de oorlog, en de oorlog met mensen zijn, dan zou zij schoon in de oorlog zijn gedeeschen. De reis in de schoon wil ik hem, wat zij de twee haar is vinden, de jode aan mooie absoluten haar gedeeschen wil gewonnen. Voor zijn breedte de moffen wil in de volle hand, Von meine Schwierigkeiten und was sie bringen in den Schulen und Bettern, in allem, in was sie nicht gesagt und bekommen ist man nicht. A singular voice of optimism in a universe of despair. The Rebbe's words electrified the Israeli public. Newspapers across Israel, regardless of affiliation, from Haaretz to Al Hamishmar, converted the Rebbe's astonishing message into headlines of hope. God is watching over the Holy Land, and salvation is near, cried the headlines of Yediot Akronot, an Israeli daily. The prediction seemed so utterly at odds with that of Israel's own leadership and the grim reality growing ever more dense around Israel's borders, just eight days shy of the Six-Day War.